Hey all, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll be making the Gears of War Lancer Assault Rifle designed by me, Mr. Campbell Prince. There'll be links in the description below if you want to download it from my fangs, my cult store, my Patreon store, as well as down in the physical version of my Etsy store. There'll also be links in the description down below for my child toy fundraiser, where the goal is for me to make as many, many toys as possible and give them out to free to children across the UK by the end of this year. Please take a look, links will be in the description below, but with all that's being said and done, let's get onto the support removal. Um, it's not too difficult, I'm removing support, so I will talk over this part. And I'd like to give a massive shout out to my first Patreon, Ace Browning. Ace Browning, thank you so much for joining the Patreon membership. I do also have membership on Fangs, guys. I do have quite a few people on there. Um, and also all the support to everyone down on my models on Colts and Fangs and Patreon. Um, and also all the support to all the people purchasing my models on Etsy. Now, I designed this Gears of War Mark, Mark II Lancer about two, three months ago. Um, now, this is based on a Mark II version of the Lancer, but I've taken inspiration from the later models and the more, orig more original ones from the first game and sort of melded it in into one giant one. Predominantly, yes, it looks a lot like the Mark II, but I've added a few extra bits from the further ones, just a bit more like the shape and the handle size. This is a beast of a print. It took a whopping amount of filament to make this. I will put it up there on the page for you to see. But yeah, it took a lot to build. It took a long time to print. Um, and putting it together is not the easiest. So I will preface it by saying, I usually do, well, actually, I always make my videos as you see them. So when I build it together, it's the first time I'm building it. But with this one, I had to print it at a small scale. I actually printed it at a 10% scale just to see if it would work and fit because there were so many intricate pieces here, there, and everywhere. I thought I need to try another way. Um, now, painting. I wasn't going to paint this model, but I've been really getting into my spray painting bag. So I decided to actually do a little bit extra and just keep it more color printed. So I am about to spray paint now. I'm using gunmetal gray spray paint and silver spray paint and black spray paint and primer white, sorry. I use 151 spray paint, you can find it on Amazon and they're really good. Um, and the primer, so primer wasn't usually necessarily needed, but I like the way it adheres. Um, well, the spray paint would hit after I prime it and it fills in those layer lines as well. And you can see it's a beautiful sunny day here in the UK. You can tell it isn't gonna last long, but there we go. Um, so I primed everything. Um, now with the gunmetal gray spray paint, I was in two minds if I actually liked it. So here it is here. But it actually came out really good. It gave it a metallic. I didn't want it to be too silver. I wanted it to have the grimy, gray metally bits and then contrast that like, with the silver trim so as you can see here when they are against it it looks really good you could that black comes through nice and i guess decently um and it's got like a glitter sparkle part of it now when putting this together here's a silver trim just added it in surprisingly this was friction fitted i expected to glue this because the tolerance and the gaps are left between it when designing it seemed like it wouldn't need well it would need some glue and it wouldn't be friction fitted but most of these silver trims are really good. They're friction fitted, which is good. So I'll pat myself on the back without even knowing so. Um, when putting this together, this is the order I was to do. Putting the trim at the back here. Uh, same as these blue energy bits. These, well, you're about to see in a minute. These are friction fitted as well. Pop them in just so you can give it space. I wanted to design one with electronics, but I just don't have those skill sets yet. I will learn it and build on with it. But for now, these are all just, you know, print events you put in them print out and stick together really but obviously if you download yourself you know, do what you need to drill holes ball holes add wires and it would work and i'm sure it'll look great with it um next step put the handle in now this is actually the only time you can put a handle because once you put things together the handle is never fitting in as you can see that i had to snip it out and cut it out i've redesigned this part here so you wanted to cut it out yourself it's designed so you can just slot the handle in but i had to cut that hole out actually actually made it one solid wall which is silly of me um add a bit of glue pop a bit of glue in and now these connectors they are all the same size so you can't really get confused and this is to help align and join the piece together as you can see there there's the butt of the handle and here's the next part where the trigger will go or the um i don't know the ring the guard trigger guard i guess will go afterwards and um, once again it just goes in the bit of glue stick and you're done um it looks really good it's almost like a snub rifle um now it's time to add the silver trim or gray trim whatever color you choose do it now you could technically do all the trim at the end but i find while if you do it while it's here 
it keeps everything aligned the glue should hold it together still you should be fine as well as the connectors and just does a trigger as well now but i find if you add the trim while doing it just make sure everything's aligned you know what you're doing as you're doing it and you're not just sitting there trying to turn bits over do one side and the other of course you can now the ammo container this is a hinge i designed it to actually open and use so you can insert and take out the ammo for the lancer now the way you put this together do it in this order put a bit of glue at the top part where this hinge mechanism is and put a bit of glue and the connector in the top and the top part of the rifle and you've got to sort of do it at the same time so it is a little bit confusing it's you, you probably would need to do that sam if you didn't have the connectors yes you would need to do it at the same time but the connectors adhere to it and makes it this connection a little bit stronger so as you can see here the bottom half of this whole mechanism i decided to put in first um at the same time putting the top one so here's the top one and tilt it a little bit angle it and pop there you go it's all in and it's done now this is the front bit of the ammo box now if you can see clearly it has got a little outline on this side of it where to place all the bits so that top um, silver trim middle circle silver trim and that bottom silver trim on the other side however it didn't i didn't put it in deep enough on the bottom half it doesn't pop out any further but it isn't as much as a guide it's a very faint guide but you can barely see it um and yeah you just follow the other side and it's fine next i will suggest putting the blue energy bits for the circle circle bits and you're good to go um but yeah this was a really fascinating build. i'm really love like i said i'm loving warhammer loving the looks loving the way the armor looks so i might even get into some warhammer prop making and designing let me know in the comments below if there's any particular ones that you want me to see or you want me to make but you want me, that you want me to design um i'll try my best and do it um but yeah this gears of war one i absolutely love it. and you can see the ammo box there at the top right looking beautiful there's not much to it i was in the two months also painting that as well but i thought let me keep this clean i wanted this to look like it was came off the factory for fresh um rather than battle damage so i haven't done any battle damage or put any um red blood marks to show that it's been used just to keep it raw but obviously you can do that yourself and if you go on my c page and you download it you want me to add those things private message me and i will add it to it um, the hinge itself is quite straightforward um after you put in the trigger guard i don't know what to call this i should have found out before i've been in this video but yeah the trigger guard you literally pop in the ammo box pop in the tubes and you're good to go it's not complicated at all so there you go pop it in got a bit of glue on one and on one of the caps the both caps are the same um they're mirrored image on all of these on this model so you don't have to worry about what side does on where and then glue the other side and there you go it's good um it does swing and swivel when the ammo box isn't in there so if the ammo box isn't inside this container it will swivel back and forth but i guess why would you be carrying a weapon with no ammo ready to go to warm fight the locust makes no sense um so yeah once you insert the ammo box in it does stay in place it sort of hooks itself in um and locks it in i guess if you want to call it that and yeah that came out really well but with that being said and done i will leave you for the rest of the video and i'll catch up with you in a bit Now, as you just saw when doing the chainsaw bit here, do the front two bits, don't do the third bit because it won't attach to this grip bit if you try to glue all three together at the same time. Simply just do the front two bits, add the chainsaw blades and then do the same to the rear bit and then you're good to go. You'll see in a moment what I'm talking about. I did make the blades teeth, sorry, the chainsaw teeth um, not so sharp. I did originally plant it till it was razor pop sharp and I literally cut myself as I was taking it off the print bed and I thought yeah let's redo this. So I've made it a little bit more rounded. They look sharp but they're not pointed which is the main thing especially from the cosplay and cons and all of that. You don't want to be carrying sharp pointy objects where you do but not too, not literally enough to cut someone. Um, so I've you know, smoothed them down a little bit but they look really good if I say so myself. Now when it comes to putting together like I said these are the two halves of the teeth blade parts so do the front bit with the biggest piece and then do the back bit glue it together and you're good to go with that being said and done i will leave you with the rest of the video
Now, as you can see here, the silver trim has been done. It's time to do the gun sights. Um, these are the little knobs that let you adjust it, I'm assuming. I've got some wonderful transparent pet G, which I'm using now. I did one in AMS version and one separate. So when you download this model, there's two different versions, a solid build and a separate one. I'm using a separate one because I thought it looked a little better in the blue, a little bit more bright, a little bit more vibrant. Uh, put a bit of glue on the ring, pop it in, and you're good to go. Now, I want to give a big shout out to every single one of you. We're almost close to 7,000 subscribers. We're getting close to 10 million. We're getting there slowly but we're going to get there I know we are but thank you so much it means the world to me all your support all the comments all the likes everything all the subscribers um, thank you so much please 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 if you are watching this video and you're subscribed check me out on Instagram my, the content's a little bit different there as well as TikTok but please like and follow me there because it really helps and does all that wonderful wonderful things and thank you so much for being a massive part of this journey I can't imagine being anywhere else but with all that being said and done give yourself a tap on the back and thank you so much for sticking around TN but as always it's time for the animation slash glamour shots let's go 